Well, so the business itself, it started by uh, my brother and I, mm -hmm. Andy. Um, and so the, the true story behind it is, and I'll spill the beans, if you will, uh, <laughs> is that so he was out in Denver at the time. I had just moved to Raleigh. We were both working jobs that um, we knew weren't long term. Um, and so we were kicking around with it. We wanted to start something together, essentially. At least that, that's what the thought was. And we just had no clue what that idea <laughs> was. Uh, um, and so, the, and I'll give him credit for this, he, for 30 straight days, this is back in 2011 or 12, for 30 straight days, we, we had to email each other a business idea. And it, which means it basically forces your mind to think of something. You come up with some of the worst ideas you can imagine because you're just, you're, you have a deadline every day. Yeah. But what it does, it, it's a great, like, you know, experiment, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, it forces your mind to be constantly looking at every little thing throughout the day to think, you know, because you're thinking, man, I got to email my brother a business <laughs> idea by, you know, by eight o'clock tonight, I better think of something. Mm -hmm. Because you know, you're coming up with 30 different business ideas in 30 days, it's hard. And so, but your constant, your eyes are now, you know, you drive to work, but you're all of a sudden thinking, man, well, who, who, who owns that billboard? Mm -hmm. You sit in a chair at work, you're like, who makes this chair? Who, because you're constantly yeah. thinking like, well, who, what, do, what am I using or seeing or touching or feeling every day that maybe we can do better? Mm -hmm. And so, ironically enough, I mean, you can kind of see where this yeah. is going, but somewhere in that 30 days, <laughs> someone got a haircut. I, got a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> I walked, out of that, walked out of that particular shop and that's, that was my idea on that particular day. Mm -hmm. um, pitched it to him and he, to his credit, he's, he, he'd been, he did not have the military background, so he was much, much more advanced with the business side than mm -hmm. I ever was. Um, and so he was able to take the idea and kind of run with it. That's incredible. Because he was, he was living in Denver, um, spent some time out in Portland during an internship, and just the West Coast and some of those cities, they're more, a little more cutting edge, mm -hmm. if you will. Okay. No pun intended. But, uh, <laughs> um, so when I pitched the, the barbershop idea, he was able to kind of um, take it and run with it and, and, and kind of bet it a little more than I, I could have. Because I was, I, was, yeah. I was still... I was still out of the military. I had done I I had done nothing but get like your typical military cut every week, so I wasn't as well versed in the in the civilian haircut scene as as, as others. Well, I, I love that whole exercise. And in our conversation earlier today, talking with um, Nathan from Story Driven, he hit on how like your brain is a problem solving tool, and if you give it a problem to solve, it wants to, it wants to solve, it wants to answer the question. And like such a cool parallel to giving your brain this problem to solve every day. A cool exercise for people coming into entrepreneurship. And looking today. back, I mean, it, it was necessary because mm -hmm. if you sit down, you think. I run into so many folks, and I and I admire their you know, their determination. But it's just I want to start something, mm -hmm. I, and that's their comment. And I, I was no different than them at one point. But if the idea of just I'm going to come up with like as if it's just going to fall from the sky, mm -hmm. it's, it's it's not. Yeah, I'm it's irrational. Yeah, yeah. And so what it does, it, it just forced you to actually. Because I think everyone's sitting there thinking, well, I'm going to develop the next app, or I'm going to do something. And, and for, to us, I'm, I think Andy and I will be the first that we're not the smartest guys. Mm -hmm. We've realized everyone else is trying to do the next sharpest, smartest thing. You're trying to create the next Instagram, the next Facebook. Or when reality is, and that's great. I mean, certainly I think all of us in this room could wish, wish we had started all these, <laughs> these tech companies or whatnot. But sometimes, you know, entrepreneurship is a wide range of things. Oh, and yeah. sometimes the answer can literally be right in front of you. And, and so, you know, when I walked out of that barbershop six some years ago, at no point did I think, I wasn't even sure, is this a good business or not, but at least it forced that, mm -hmm. if it weren't for that exercise, I would have just walked out of that barbershop and thought nothing of it. Yeah. But, well, I just had another haircut. Instead, I walked out of that and said, hmm, I think we can do that better. Yeah, that, I mean, that's, what a cool like, way to discover the concept. And was, was that what it was when you walked out? Like, hey, that was not a great experience? Essentially, I mean, there's, there's other, aspects that went into it, but yeah, it was the fact that, um, you know, I'm just, at the time I was 27, I was, like I said, a mil out of the military, so all of a sudden I'm now able to get a normal haircut, <laughs> a normal uh, average American haircut, if you will, and uh, they didn't have to follow any type of regulation, yeah. so now I'm, I'm able to kind of have a little more so. <laughs> versatility in my hair, if you will, and, uh, and, and so... I just, so all of a sudden, and I keep in mind, I'd also been overseas for so long, so I, I was reintegrating back into the American haircut scene. <laughs> and so I was making it sound more dramatic than it really was. But So I'm Googling these like you know national chains yeah. or, or high-end salons. I'm just trying to figure out where does a guy like me even go? I'm, I've, oh, yeah, this whole so like, discovery. I, discovery, of, and, and I'm, I don't, you know, I just wanted a normal, basic haircut. Mm -hmm. I'm not, you know, nothing. 
<laughs> I'm a simple guy here. Like, <laughs> simple guy. Yeah. Uh, and so I started going to the national chains and just realizing the real kind of moment was when I, so I was new to the triangle and I immediately kind of fell in love with the triangle. So I thought I got here in 2010 and this is when the triangle was really hitting its mm -hmm. stride. Yeah, you know? 100%. Um, and so I, all of a sudden at 27, 28 years old, I'm going to really good concerts at Red Hat yeah. and whatnot. And there's, good, there's breweries popping up left and right. The restaurant scene's good. All this stuff, everything I was kind of getting myself into and, and friends were doing with me and whatnot, what I, I consider quote unquote cool. Oh yeah, yeah. But then all of a sudden I'm off in some shopping center getting a terrible haircut at a terrible national chain with terrible customer service yeah. with and you're saying to myself, wait a second. This doesn't everything else I'm everything else Raleigh Durham Chapel Hill is offering right now is, is pretty cool and yeah. it's going in the right direction. It's got this great momentum and yet for my haircut I veer off and go up to this this <laughs> you know, this generic chain if you will. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so that's the kind of the moment where I was like, wait a second, why can't why can't the haircut experience for the for the triangle mm -hmm. citizen match the the food, beverage, music, sports yeah. experience of getting <laughs>